Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am done thrifting for the day, but I thought I'd stop and like film a what sold video for us in March. Um, we've never done one before, so let's see how this goes. I'm on the road, I'm in the parking lot, so um, yeah. I just wanted to stop and share a milestone with you guys. So yesterday was the 7th of April in 2021, and we reached a milestone in our store. Um, we hit that 12,000 mark for the 90 day total. Um, we couldn't be happier. We we're so proud of ourselves. It took a lot of hard work um, and just picking up the right items, pricing aggressively, and we we're so happy about that. Um, and that's why I wanted to kind of share with you guys a March what sold type of video um, to see kind of what helped us reach that milestone in our store. As of the 4th of March, we were on a decline. Um, we didn't know what was going on, what we were doing wrong. Um, we felt like we were picking up the right items, but we just didn't know why our store was dropping in sales. We almost went back down to the $9,000 mark. Um, we were at 10,000 something, close to 9,000, and it scared us. You know, we're like, we haven't been down this low in a while, what happened? Um, so we just got our butts in gear, consist consistently started thrifting again, because um, we slowed down just a little bit and started kind of going only a couple days out of the week, but, or at least not hitting as much thrifts as we're doing now. Um, but yeah, so kicking butt really helped us. Um, that put our butts into gear. And, you know, we poured in a lot of knowledge from other YouTubers and social media um, on our Instagram. Like, we follow so many people that are kind of like, they're influential to us. Like, they influence us, they push us to kind of influence. Is that the word I'm trying to look for? No, I don't think that's the word I'm looking for. They motivate us. They motivate us to kind of kick butt. Um, um, yeah, I've made some pretty good friends, I think, um, through social media that have truly helped us um, with, oh, hopefully they're okay. Um, but yeah, we've just, we're so happy um, that we've hit that. So now it's like, don't get any lower, you know, let's push these sales, let's keep finding those right items, picking up the right items. Um, yeah. So let's get into our March what sold. These are just going to be a couple items um, in March that we sold that we want to share with you guys um, to kind of, I feel like these are more commonly found at thrift stores um, and then obviously some oddballs. But so let's get into it. Um, so the first one I'll share with you guys is a CD. I'm, I love selling media now. It's just so easy to ship, so easy to store. Um, so this is an Amy Grant CD. We paid three dollars for it, and it sold for twenty-five shipped. Um, is the Chronicles of Narnia. Sorry, guys. I'm reading this little cheat sheet I have. I'm not an expert at what sold videos, but so it's the Chronicles of Narnia. It's the book set. Um, it's a box set. We paid five bucks for it. And it sold for 50 plus the buyer paid 850 in shipping. Um, another item is these J.E. Hankel's knives. Um, we sold six of them and we kind of paid up for this knife set. It was missing, I believe it was the sharpener, the knife sharpener. But J.E. Hankel's sells pretty well. It's kind of more of a slower moving, so. I wouldn't pick it up if you were expecting a fast return because it moved slow for us, but we did pick up this set for 45 and I was planning on putting it all together, but then I just thought it was better to split it up. So I sold six, we sold six knives for um, 35 and the buyer paid 1050 shipping. So we paid 45 for the entire set, except that sharpener that was missing. but. So we're basically into the profit because we sold other knives from that already as well. Another item is this um, Epson 4-pack ink. Um, and it's expired, guys. Expired ink still sells. And we paid $3 for this and it sold for $36 shipped. Item is this Final Fantasy game set. Um, 
individually they didn't sell well enough or at least for the profit margins that would we would want so we ended up putting them together and they sold for 30 shipped and we have about four dollars and eight cents into this um, another CD item another media item so this is the shipwrecked CD we have a quarter into this one and it sold internationally with the GSP sold for 18 shipped another item this one was very surprising I'm so happy I picked them up I actually had seen them at the thrift before but I never bothered to like scan it look it up on eBay anything till one day I'm like you know what I keep passing this up what is this so I looked it up it's the um, adventures in Odyssey audio series they're cassette tapes like cassettes um, we put the whole set together made like a huge bundle lot 16 volumes of it we paid a dollar sixty I don't know if there's collectors out there or people just still use them you know in their church or what but yeah we have a dollar sixty into these and they sold for 91 shipped another item in clothing is um, some jeans big star men's jeans these we picked up for eight dollars and they sold for 50 plus the buyer paid 855 in shipping another um, three volumes of adventures in Odyssey audio series we have 30 cents into this lot um, I went back to that thrift store and they had another three like maybe like a week or two which or maybe I passed them up um, because they had these mixed in with the VHS's and I was looking at the VHS's and I saw these three volumes there so I was happy and I grabbed them and yeah I only paid 30 cents for the three and they sold for 35 shipped so look in the VHS's maybe your thrift store has these in there you know another item is um, this vintage 90's Oxford University sweatshirt um, we paid two dollars and fifty cents for this one and it sold for 33 shipped I've noticed that vintage like university um, hoodies or sweatshirts even t-shirts sell pretty well so if you can get them cheap enough I would pick them up guys Let's see another item is this vintage Seth Thomas ship's bell clock um, this one we paid up for it but we got it half off we paid $45 for it and it sold for 99 shipped and be honest in the description guys we were honest with this clock we don't I mean I honestly don't know how to test it I took really good pictures of it because it had scuffs all over it um, we made sure to write that it was not tested we're selling as is and someone came in and bought it for 99 shipped so let's get into a video game sale so we got this this one here is a Wii Sports and a Wii Sports Resort um, we put the two together we got this Wii Sports kind of I guess basically free we bought a Wii and there was a Wii Sports in there and we did it through a local um, sale we picked it up and we were very surprised that there was a Wii Sports and we were purchasing this bundle came with the Wii Sports and then inside the Wii was another Wii Sports which was awesome so we have about five dollars into both games and it sold for 60 shipped um, another clothing piece I'm very surprised with this one um, vintage socks Hanes we have a dollar into these socks it's one pair and it sold within the day for 25 shipped we sold these Brooks women's aerial shoes them up at a garage sale for three dollars guys and we sold them for 90 shipped let's get into a blu-ray sale this is the Harry Potter series um, it was the eight movies and we just lotted them together we have eight dollars about eight dollars into this set and it sold for 66 shipped thanks for tuning in hope I did not bore you guys too much and let me know in the comments if you want to see more what sold videos I know it helps me to watch other resellers um, putting what sold videos so I thought it'd be a good idea to start sharing with you guys our sales and just thank you for watching um, let's keep kicking butt. Let's level up, guys.